straight to the last stop, you know what I mean? I'll go to Jumbo's Hamburgers on 8th Ave, like, it's too much, too much. Okay. Um, so, um, I have a brother, his name is John. Um, he was diagnosed with schizophrenia in 2013. And, uh, you know, society and media likes to portray people who suffer from mental illness and um, have these, like, diseases uh, as, like, criminals, murderers, dangerous, crazy people. And uh, my brother was, like, he that like he thought he was Jesus, right? And the voices in his head were God. So he would dead ass, like, roll up on you and be like, yo, bro. You're beautiful, you're perfect, I love you, you going to heaven, boom, I just sent you up. <laughs> right? And then, like, my brother would come home like, yo, my nigga dead ass, I baptized like 1,500 people to holy fire, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yo, New York City is lit right now, we all going to heaven. Like, he'd be hyped like that, right? <laughs> yeah, like, it's shit, right? And, um, you know, uh, he also was paranoid, right? He, he'd hear helicopters. Right, and when he'd pray, he heard snakes. And um, this is a poem, and uh, obviously about uh, my brother and like uh, the mental institutions, right? That we like put some of our family members in, and some people choose to forget about them, and some of them write it out, right? So this is a poem by my brother. Five doctors sit prepared to evaluate my brother John to see if he can be released from the psych ward. The first doctor asks, how are you? John says, well, says, breakfast, cocked neck, face implying he tasted crushed pills in his scrambled eggs. He chuckled at the powder residue on his fork. Y'all ain't never heard? A man who laughs at poison knows he won't be dying soon. The second doctor asks, are you nervous? John says no, while tapping his foot. He wants to stomp on the snakes creeping toward him, but doesn't want to alert the doctors. They already know he hears hissing choirs, slimy, wingless angels, biting their toxins into his faith. My brother prayed himself anti-venom, could thrust fangs further into him. The doctors would call this a suicide attempt when he'd be showing how full of life he is. The third, what do you think of our facility? John doesn't speak at first. Wonders if there's a cross waiting to be carried or if one of the doctors needs to be baptized. Says he helps the patients more than the staff. Says the staff are like family members who wish they weren't there. Says they're always in the way. John's heart is full of interrupted prayers. Half a heaven coursing through my brother's body and people want to call him crazy. The fourth, have you had any delusions? John shrugs says nothing of the angels surrounding the chandelier. Says nothing of how he can feel his brain cracking. He is one of God's knuckles, one of God's works in progress. He knows assembling his fingers into vices would only bring about the hunt he settles down before making a spectacle of the Messiah in him. He can't stop his hands and feet from bleeding, but will bear the sin of the last doctor asking, what does all of that even mean? John shakes his head. He doesn't want the doctors to know he could dispel demons with a cock neck. How he can nail himself to a cross, call it practice. They say he is unhinged, a cathedral of teeth, always one step away from driving his fist down someone's throat. They want to see an animal make a home of the cage they were thrown in when none of these doctors have held thorns until their palms became sponges soaked in their savior's blood. All they know of my brother is... Beth Israel Medical Center, 11th floor, psych ward, Abilify, Ativan, Chlorazil, John, Ramirez.